everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Earth is more than just the planet where we live. place in the solar system. The Earth is 149,600,000 kilometers away from the Sun. Its revolution lasts for 365.25 days and its rotation for 23.9 hours. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng revolution at rotation? Revolution is the object's orbital motion around another object. For example, the Earth, the one in blue color, revolves around the Sun, which produces a 365-day year. Every year, you are actually traveling with the Earth until it goes back to its initial point. Just to motivate you, if ever you feel like giving up, don't worry, the Earth is with you. Let's have another trivia. Have you ever wondered why we have leap years? 2020 is a leap year. It is a 366-day long year. Every four years, we add an extra day, February 29 to our... And its average temperature in degrees Celsius is 15 degrees Celsius. Let's discuss the general characteristics of the Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun. The nearest planet is Mercury, Venus, then Earth, followed by Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Pluto is no longer a planet. It circles the Sun at a distance of around 150 million kilometers. 
The Earth's diameter measures 12,756 kilometers at the equator and 12,713 kilometers at the poles. This difference between the equatorial and polar diameters gives Earth a shape that is not exactly round. Instead, it is an oblate spheroid. Another characteristic of the Earth is that its atmosphere is composed mostly of nitrogen and oxygen. Nitrogen composes about 78% of the atmosphere, while oxygen, 21%. There are different layers of the atmosphere. The troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Next, the Earth's surface has very large depressions filled with water called oceans and seas. These bodies of water cover about 70.8% of Earth's surface, giving it a blue color when viewed from outer space. Thus, Earth has been called the Blue Planet. If Earth is filled with water, it is also covered by land. Earth's surface has many elevations, both on land and at the ocean bottom. The most prominent of these are mountains and mountain ranges. For example, we have the famous Himalayas or Himalaya mountain range found in Asia. It separates the plains of the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan Plateau. The range has many high peaks, including the highest Mount Everest at the border between Nepal and China. Before we end this Shensh Amazing episode, let's have a quick recap of the things that we have discussed. In this video, we talked about the characteristics of Earth. We described Earth in space, learned about common Earth facts, discovered the reason behind leap years, and discussed the general characteristics of the Earth. It's good time! To check if you really learned something from this episode, we will have a short 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, it should check natin kung tamang mga sagot nyo. Let's start!
Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. Number one, it is the spinning of the earth on its own axis. Dalawa lang ang pagpipilian, rotation or revolution. In this case, the correct answer is rotation. Number two, the object's orbital motion around another object. For example, the Earth's motion around the Sun. It is revolution. Number three, order sequence of the Earth from the Sun. The nearest planet to the Sun is Mercury, followed by Venus, then Earth. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Number four, it composes about 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. The answer here is nitrogen. Number 5, last number, a calendar year that contains an additional day added to keep the calendar year synchronized. This is leap year. nag tayo ng isang day called a leap day on February 29 to synchronize our calendar with the Earth's revolution around the sun. That ends our Shensh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!